we know all about the cocaine bear. The off-the-wall movie, very loosely based on the real story of the bear who supposedly ingests $15 million of cocaine in 1985 and goes berserk. But cocaine sharks? Yep, it's really a thing. Shark expert Tom Hurd investigates cocaine sharks on Shark Week, airing on Discovery. We take on a very, very interesting uh, idea, which, of course, the, the top line is pretty insane, but it's actually legitimate as well. That's he says fleeing smugglers being chased by the DEA are dumping significant amounts of cocaine into the ocean, which ends up in the stomachs of sharks. You notice how she's swimming? Yeah, it looks like she's slightly on the one side. Almost like she's weighted down. She's not quite level. This is turning into the summer of sharks with 46 shark attack bites so far this year. Famed shark expert Paul DeGelder lost a leg and arm to a shark attack back in 2009. For people who may be in the ocean and have a shark encounter, what do you tell them? What should they do? Enjoy it. Love it. Most people that see sharks that I take diving, they get upset because the sharks won't come closer to them. They start chasing after the shark because the sharks usually don't want any part of you. He tells Allison Hall, never take your eyes off a shark. Keep your eyes on it. If it does come in close, all you do is extend your arm, put it on the nose, the top of the head, try to stay away, away from the pointy bits and push it away. Sounds like you have to be pretty fearless to put your arm out to a shark. This is a last resort. Oh, that won't be me. Shark Week debuts Sunday on the Discovery Channel.